Alright, hello and what's up everybody? Welcome to another Fish Scale official interview. Got my dude Patrick with me. Introduce yes, yourself, bro, from the low road. Just just introduce yourself. Yes, so my name is Patrick Northern. I go by Big Fish Dirty Lake, and my show is The Low Road. I do uh, artist interviews, so anybody that you consider an artist, you know, you could uh, be like Mac himself, you could be a painter, uh, a rapper, a singer, it doesn't matter. Whatever you do, as long as it's artistic, then uh, then I'll, uh, I will cover it, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, hell yeah. I, but I do mostly rappers right now. Right. Yeah. Hell yeah. 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 All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a note from your book, and uh, before we get into what's happening now, let's take it back. All the way back. All the way, All back. way back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, so yes. how's uh? Just tell the people how how was little Patrick like? <laughs> little Patrick. Yeah. Like like what what was it like coming up for you? Um. Well. Uh, I was born in a town called Harvey, which is Illinois. It's like 25 minutes outside of Chicago. Um, I was born there, Midwest shit, and uh, my father was actually murdered uh, in gang violence. He, uh, he was a top vice lord, and uh, someone ended up owing him money, and so he was murdered, and so we left. And we moved to Ohio for a little bit after that. And then we moved to Boston. Um, I think I'd be like three or four about that age. Or about that time. And my mother dated a guy named Joseph Peak, Which people who know me are will know who I'm talking about. And, and know the importance that plays in my life. And uh, he was in a band called Chuck. And Chuck was pretty much like... Uh, like a black Maroon 5, right, yeah. before Maroon 5. Right. So they were kind of like rapping, but they had bass and people playing keys and stuff. And they were big. They actually had beef with Benzino, uh, for who, who people, who knows Benzino, like right. I think he's on Love and Hip Hop now, but he was kind of a poppin' rapper way before he's kind of right. like washed that's a, What is her name? Coyle Ray? That's her dad? Yes, that's her father. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, she's dope. She's dope. Um... And so from that age, I was able to be backstage with them and see them kind of pop off locally before the internet. You really had to like, you had to be good. There wasn't really much right. of a gimmick. You could have a gimmick, but people have to come see you. You know, they can't just go on their phone or go on their TV or the internet just to see the gimmick and believe in it. You know, you really had to like be talented. And so we lived in Boston for a little bit. Um, and then he fucked up and my mom fucked up and they broke up. And then pretty much from that day forward, I was living in Cleveland from when I was like six till last year, pretty much. All right. All right. Okay. So that was, that was kind of a lot. I know. I know. <laughs> so, uh, okay. So your father was murdered. Yeah. He, he was, shot. uh. So he he was a high ranking vice lord, like the gang vice lords. Yeah, yeah, in Chicago. Okay, okay. Mm hmm. Gotcha. Like they, they put in a lot of work. Like I don't want to set you up and say too much, but like I, I just go by what my my little brother tells me because he's still out there, gotcha. and he told me about that. And uh, my mother claims that she didn't know. She was pretty young when she had me. Wait, so so you had to find out through your brother through like like some street shit for real, for real? Yeah, yeah. Me and my brother linked up like. Uh, two or three years ago. Like, I, I had posted that picture of me and him when we were younger. That's when we were like 13. We met each other one time and then we didn't see each other for like another 13, 15 years. What he just found me on Facebook. Yeah, because I had my dad's name. So he found me on Facebook. Okay. And, and as soon as he hit me up, I'm glad you asked me this. As soon as he hit me up, he's like, he didn't even ask like, do you know who I am or whatever? No, he asked who I, he, he said something to me. I said something back. I'm getting excited, I'm sorry. And, uh, He's like, do you know who I am? And I'm like, yeah, you're my brother. Like, I remember you, bro. And then I was like, shh. And he's been telling me everything. He rode around, was showing me like where FPG uh, Duck got killed, yeah. like rest in peace. Um, 
we talk about all like shot town shit, you know, like, uh, yeah. So pretty much, I learned from him because he's still connected with the streets. He's got his ear to the streets still, so he lets me know. And like, in Cleveland. So as a child, I lived in a place called Lakewood, which is the west side of Cleveland. Some people even try to say that it's not Cleveland, which I think is bullshit because if I go west past 117th, I hit Cleveland. Uh, if I go east, it'll hit downtown, and that's Cleveland. And if so, is Cleveland? Just, so out here in Denver, it, it's like we have a whole bunch of smaller cities that can be like considered Denver. Yeah. If if it wanted to be. Yeah. Like we're in Broomfield now, right? Yes. Which is like in the Denver metro area, but it's like kind of on the mm. outskirts. But we also have a like a city called Lakewood, which is on the west side of Denver, <laughs> which is like technically a little bit too west but um i used to live out there mm -hmm. and on once and i lived on a street where on one side of the street if you lived on this side you lived in lakewood and on another side of the street if you lived on that side you lived in denver yes so it's like is it like that in cleveland to where there's like kind of small little bit small cities that makes up like the cleveland metro area or not really yeah no yes there is okay. there is there's gotcha. like from from i'm from the west side so there's like Lakewood, there's Tremont, which is like lower numbers, like West 11th and stuff. And um, there's Fairview. Um, pretty much, what else? Is, then there's like Old Brooklyn, that's like Southwest, I guess. That's more of like, it's a very heavy Puerto Rican and like, like kind of white trashy like uh, population there. Uh, Brooklyn, South Brooklyn, and then Parma. And I, that's kind of west and south as well. That's kind of like our, our kind of like hick town kind of. It's kind of wild there. And uh, a whole bunch of towns. Parma Heights. That's all like metro area shit. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, okay. All right.